everybody? Welcome to yet another episode of The Smoke Sesh, your exclusive place to find all things behind the scenes of For The Boys. My name is Makai Lee. I'm the co-creator, writer, and director of For The Boys. <laughs> With me today, I have Chandler Bryant. Chris hey. has Chandler Bryant. It's Anthony in the show. And I also have Monsieur <laughs> Paris. Paris, what's your last name? Oh, my name is Paris Warren, also known as Monsieur Paris. Not the trade. Yeah. <laughs> What's so, up, the trade? Literally, okay. literally. Well, welcome, Monsieur Perry. I'm so, screaming. Now, nah, we have episode seven. Today, we're talking about episode seven. So, at the beginning of this one, obviously, we see um, Saeed has that lobster job, the job he interviewed for in episode four, that he thought was going to be like the job to save his life, essentially. And he's actually the restaurant mascot and chooses not to tell his friends about that. So, why do you think like, that he doesn't tell you about that? Um, I think it's a little bit of insecurity yeah. because Anthony has like a stable job in the office and then Jamal is kind of doing his thing with mm -hmm. the, the art and like yes, the, the photography and mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. different things like that. And I think he doesn't want to let us know that, you know, he's not really where he wants to be in life. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And also speaking to that, I think with him being so close to the two of you and seeing such success mm -hmm. in the two of you, not only in your job lives respectively mm -hmm. but also in your relationship yeah. life you know what i mean like you have a date coming up that night at the hipster bar y'all talk about it right quick right, <laughs> right 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 and also you know jamal who's never been in a relationship before as long as saeed and you have known him uh is in a flourishing relationship so it seems you yeah know? yeah so why do you think i mean like do you think that is affecting how he use the two of you at all, how he might view himself, why he makes the decision he makes at the end of the episode? I don't think it's affecting the way he views us, but I definitely think that it's affecting the way he moves around us. I see. Like, yeah. what he decides to reveal, what he yeah. decides to keep mm. to himself, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. different things like that. I yeah. definitely think that the fact that we are flourishing so much in so many different avenues makes him feel a little bit insecure. Yeah. Yes, it's rocking this world yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, you ate that. That's <laughs> <laughs> you. All right. Word. So, uh, Paris is the wardrobe supervisor for the show. Handles all the clothes, as you can see. What do you got on right now? Uh, uh, this is this is styled by Ronnie Lamont. Okay, we love yeah. Ronnie. Yeah. Give it up, Ronnie. Ronnie. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so I want to ask you how you use the clothes to incorporate the character's energy, specifically with the boys. Like, what do so you do? honestly, what what moved me about watching and like you know the first the first four episodes were for me was trying to build these characters up even more because I feel like they all already have their own identities. Yeah, but sure. I think it's about trying to like visually capulate people with what they look like. Right. So like specifically for episode seven where we were dressing Anthony and Raymond, um, I think it was more so just trying to like feed off of their energy together. Um, I just had a brain fart. Nah, it's cool. It's cool. So like feeding off the boys and their chemistry. Um, no, but yeah, I think like for me, like with when it came to like dressing um, Anthony and Raymond on episode seven, it was more so just trying to bring their energy. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, that ass, that's great. Yeah. And I'm glad that you're like bringing the energy of the characters to what they wear. Yeah. They I think the biggest thing for me was just trying to make sure that Chandler to me is someone that is very much so like Anthony mm -hmm. as a character mm -hmm. And so I think it was about trying to build that and elevate that even more Right like right. the thing mm -hmm. that motivated me with working with Chandler individually is that that person is a lot much a lot like Anthony mm -hmm. And so trying to marry that and just make it look more polished and refined mm -hmm. um, So yeah, that's kind of like what we did with episode 7. Yeah, it definitely. was very very that like yeah. just letting Paris know like what my vision was for Anthony mm -hmm. in this moment and then him taking it to that next level for the screen. Right, stylistic choices. Yeah. We love, we love. Thank you. So where, yeah, so in the scene with you and Raymond, you know, obviously we learned quite a bit about it. Yeah. Do you want to speak more about that? <laughs> um, or even filming it, like what was going on in your head? <sighs> filming it was kind of an out of body experience for me because it kind of is a little bit similar to like not my coming out story, but right. like definitely I've had, you know, a taste of that like sense of feeling like my family wouldn't accept me for who I was. So right. like going into that, it was kind of hard to like get into and then like getting notes from you and Ellis mm -hmm. from like off screen kind of like made me like get into it. And I'm sure like everyone felt it in the room. Like after getting the notes, I just kind of like took it all in yeah. and then just delivered the monologue. And yeah, it was it was very, very it was well. a really remarkable monologue. Oh, they know. Enough enough, <laughs> they know. enough enough to me to like um yeah. Mm -hmm. My mouth was watering. 
Paris I was just say that. slobbed on the ground. Yeah, right. and it was very, Mouth very. All right, all right, all right. And I'm gonna say that that eventually, I'm sure it's gonna come out eventually. But <laughs> right, right, it right. was that it was that amazing that that's where I was. I was like, Thank you. yeah. Really that's what that yeah it was very that it was very emotional for mm-hmm. me as well watching that moment because i i personally didn't experience that but i have a lot of friends that experience that type of trauma and mm. it's it's overwhelming and it's very real mm-hmm. and yeah. it's something that we live it's every so day real. it's something Absolutely. that we live every day not yeah. either whether it's us it's somebody that's close to us that mm. experiences that so it was it was emotional all over again yeah that was my way in just thinking about how this is so many queer yeah. black boys story like mm-hmm. this is queer people in general like this yeah. is their story um and a lot of people have been closed out or ostracized by their family or people that they like really love because of who they choose to love right and, uh, right yeah yeah well, you did great work. I was Thank really, you. I was really happy with what yeah, you did. You know you Devon.com. <laughs> you know what's yeah, right. You know what's up. That's what's up. Um, so at the end of the episode, obviously we leave. We see that you are with Raymond, uh, Jamal, and Devin are canoodling, and yeah. then we find Lamont, or excuse me, Saeed, <laughs> to be uh, by himself at the bar where, he, where you guys said you would meet him, and then he chooses to fall into a vice again and hook up with someone else. So. Uh, why do you think that Saeed is relying on this vice to get him through? I feel like Saeed just has a lot to work on internally. Yeah. And I think right now he's just like trying to put off working on that stuff internally mm. and putting it on yeah, everyone and else. That mm. to him is those moments with these people are moments that he's using as a way to like cope through mm. like the realism of it all. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that like, and I think that we all go through those moments where you're right. trying to hide what you're really going through and confronting something else is the easiest way mm-hmm. to like get through it mm-hmm. um so yeah trying yeah. to placate and yeah and different stuff like that we see a little bit of that crack in episode two at the end of episode two when mm-hmm. he's in the mirror and just like breaking really, down like, breaking yeah. down yeah. seeing himself like really in the like, space in yeah. the space and i don't think that saeed has a lot of those moments mm-hmm. um and i think that to keep from having those moments, he has these little small flings that, like, right. you know, give him a little bit of that like, boost back in. That, yeah, boost, that, right. that boost, but it's very temporary, though. It's like, okay, this is gonna get me by right. until mm-hmm. I need the next fix. Right, and so right, I think right. it's more so him just trying to elevate his mental, and the only way that he can do that in those moments is just to, like, you know, sleep around. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, I would say, like, we see a crack inside, we even see a crack in you in this episode, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, a chosen crack. You know what I mean? You yeah. reveal yourself to somebody. Yeah. And I, I think we even see cracks in Raymond as well. You know I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, definitely. most de- I yeah. mean, he wasn't mentioned, but definitely. Definitely. I would say the theme of this episode is probably... Talking about back to that. Yeah, I, I, I would say... I'm going to just wait. One yeah. second. It is. It's my Chipotle. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's probably Yana. Uh, oh. I would say the theme of this episode is probably vulnerability. Mm-hmm. So we're going to see... How that pans out for you, you guys. Sorry, you just take it back to Africa clean it to our church. Shout out, I don't, I don't even remember what we was talking about. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to come back. We could, we, that feels pretty good though. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 and I think, just from like, I think of this episode. Okay, cool. So, wait till she comes in here. Oh, Hey, Mark you. Thank you. Yeah, so I would say, Probably the theme of this episode is vulnerability. Correct. Yeah, that's correct. and we will I'm so, see. I'm so sorry. I, I, I have to do it again just because as long as everyone's like looking at Makai when he says it, will be on the text of the cut. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, we're not distracted. So you can okay. say it one more time, just be okay. giving him your purpose. All right, I got you. Copy. Okay. Yeah, of course. Word. Uh, just gonna. Okay. I would say <laughs> the theme of this episode is probably vulnerability. Yes. And we're gonna. I'm excited to see how it pans out for you and for Saeed and for Jamal. I'm excited for all of you guys to see how it pans out. Yeah. <laughs> right, we Very know that. the team. Very that. Very that. <laughs> all right, so y'all, so tune in next week. Tune in. For episode eight, same time, same place. We'll see y'all so soon. Bye.